I'm Paula Pasqual, and I'm at the Tonic Studios set and Creativation 2018. Paula is the greatest person ever, by the way. I love her very much. <laughs> show us some goods, my friend. Right, so I'm going to show you how um, Autumn, the aqua flows to create spring. easy backgrounds. So I'm using one of the beautiful, this one is uh, French wine which is as beautiful I as that yeah. so it has got its water based ink uh, inside of barrel it's soft barrel so you can squeeze and kind of really it's a lot of fluid juicy juicy very juicy so you have a lot of color a lot of you know juice in there mix them up like two different colors but they are more or less beside each other in the color spectrum and then you can go a little bit mad and just use a little bit of yellow blending sponge Four pack, in there, the so you think, oh my okay. goodness, it doesn't and show, the and then just little dabs of color starts beating and marveling and creating those little ridges in there. Now, then you can go in with the paper towel and lift it up, and then suddenly the yellow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm good. Um, I can Isn't get it? And then we can, can if you want to, I, okay. just spritz a little I bit of water. The, the other one, the and that creates one. that kind of those beautiful watery. So now, now if we want to add some glitter, because all the aqua flows in colors are matte colors. Who doesn't want to add glitter? Really? And then we have got the aqua shimmer in glitter gloss. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, that is amazing. So now, if you use a heat gun to to, to dry it, mm -hmm. those colors will keep their nature, like they don't blend as much. If you let it dry, it will blend a little bit more. So then we have got, so for instance, the greens, and you can see the shimmer in there. And also now we have released a new. Oh, I love that one. That one has got the gold, it's a gold, gold um, aqua shimmer. Mm -hmm. Now it's not permanent, it, all these uh, aqua flows are non permanent. So if you want to seal it, like you either use a, a, a spray fixative sure. or, yep. or a, a, and let it dry. Oh, and then you can use the shimmer powder. So that's mica and color in here. So then with the water reacts and puts. Yeah. I'm just blocking everybody. Yeah. And then let's see how it beats the color. It's just beautiful. And you can always go back to, to something that you have dried or a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you could even add and mix it a little bit. Oh, sure. And create. And now at the beginning, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> but then it's just like, oh, what is he doing? And every time I'm like, oh, no, it's oh, not no, going to So mix it up. And layer, add layers. You can do mono printing as well in the sense of putting another color oh, in there. Sure. So a little bit of dry to so add texture, dry to kitchen paper towel. Again, it's agua or alcohol? Huh? Agua, agua. Esto es agua. Habla español. Sí, soy española. Ah, okay, mejor por ahí. Okay. And then see how I re just completely uh, reactivated. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can also use one of the new uh, <laughs> mica uh, powders that we have got, the mica mist, and that creates also different looks. So every time it's a slightly different. Every time you can use different products that react with water because they're all water based. And it doesn't matter who, which paper you're using, in terms of, like, it always will look good. Some of them will blend a little bit more than others. It's just a question of experimenting. You're a genius. Thank you. And I love you very much. Yeah. Okay, bye.